again, continuation. So, for fluid flow again, a 10 feet diameter by 15 feet height vertical tank is receiving water. Yan yung binigay sa kanya na density. At the rate of uh, 300 GPM and is discharging through a 6 inch internal diameter pipe with a constant speed of 5 foot per second. At a given instant, the tank is half full. Find the water level and the mass change in the tank after 15 minutes. So, paano ba yan? Uh, so, meron kang binigay na flow dyan. So, continually, nababawasan yung tanke mo. Okay? Tsaka, meron kang binigay dyan ng dami ng tubig dun sa tank, which is half full. So, after 15 minutes, ano na daw yung maging water level niya after siyang mabawasan ng tubig at a rate of 300 GPM? And then, at a speed of 5 foot per second through, an, through a 6 inch diameter type. In a diameter type. Lo. Diameter pipe. Okay? So, paano natin solve yan? Okay. Para sa akin, the best way for you to do it is to draw it first. Diba? Pinakamadaling bagay sa mundo. E drawing mo pag hindi mo kaya isolve. O, ito, drawing ko. Ganun ako eh. Drawing natin. You have a tank there. Oh, pagpasensya niyo yung drawing ko ha. Mahirap mag-drawing sa pad. Tapos meron ka daw ditong pipe. Ayan. Ayan. <clears throat> so meron ka ditong tubig supply ng yung Q is equal to 300 GPM. Ayan. Tapos gano'ng kataas daw to? Oh, may taas ka daw dyan na 15 feet. Yeah, 15 feet. Tapos, half full daw siya. Kalahate, ang dami ng tubig. Ayan. Tapos, meron kang uh, velocity dito of discharge. The velocity of discharge is 5 foot per second. Ayan. <coughs> ang diameter daw dito, <coughs> 6 inch. Tapos, binigay pa ba dito? Para may kulang na binigay dito. Rate of 6 inch diameter. Ayun. The area ng tank, the diameter of the tank is, take note ha, hindi binigay sa problem, that diameter of the pipe is 10 feet. Ayan. Cylindrical daw yung tank. Ayan, 10 feet diameter ito pala, oh. Syunga-syunga ako, hindi ko binasa. Ayan, 15 height. So, at an instant, nagbigin ka sa half full. Ibig sabihin, makukuha mo yung volume of the tank. At that instant. oh yung volume ng tank, di ba, cylindrical. Ano ba volume pag cylinder, o? Oh, the area times base. Ano, area times height. Area of the base times height pala. oh ayan, oh. So, that is equal to pi over 4 d squared h. So, pi over 4 d squared. Ano yung d mo dyan? 10 feet squared times height, which is half full, 15, divided by 2 feet. Oh. Ilan ang amount ng tubig mo riyan at that instant? So, uh, shift pi divided by uh, 4 times 100 squared o 10 squared times uh, 7.5 kasi di divide by 2 yung 15 eh. So, 7.5 that is 589.049 0 0.49 feet cube. At that instant, ha, yun yung dami. So, anong hinahanap dyan? Hanapin natin yung mass change and the water level. Basic lang yan. Okay. Step 1. <clears throat> Alamin natin yung area ng flow at yung area ng flow dito sa in, uh, outside. So, area flow ng inlet. Oh, 
area flow ng inlet ay ano, ganyang kalaki. So, pi over 4 times 10 feet squared. Pero convert ko na lang to yung area. Kailangan ko yan eh. 10 feet times 1 foot 12 inches squared. Ayan. So, inlet mo, Okay. So, uh, shift pi over 4 times uh, 10 times 12 squared. Ayan. 3,600 pi inches squared. Ayan. Air inlet. Sa outlet. Pi over 4 times 6 inches squared. So, 36 divided by 4, 9 pi inches squared. O, baka hindi nakasunod ha. 6 times 6, 36 divided by 4. 9 times 4 is 36. So, ibig sabihin 9. Multiply mo ng pi. O, ito. 9, 9 pi inches. Ayan. So, again, recall natin. Naka-GPM to, 1 gallon. Ilan yan? 1 gallon. Ilang liters? 3.785 liters to the gallon. Now, 1 cubic foot. Ilan yan? Equal to 7.481 gallon. Okay? Huwag nyo kalimutan yan. So, first one. Diba? Sa system, yung mass change mo dyan, is constant or mass flow change is constant. So, mass 1, hanapin natin, M1 is equal to density ng fluid, uh, area ng flow, tapos velocity ng velocity ng fluid. So, density, anong binigay mo sa iyo dyan? Anong binigay sa'yo? Di ba ang sabi ko, ito is equal yan sa flow rate. Oh, flow rate to eh. Q is equal to AB. Oh, meron kang binigay dito, equal yan sa 300 gallons per minute. Oh, solve natin to. So, 300 gallon per minute. Multiply to, yung density binigay, 62.11 62.1 pala to. 62.1 pound per feet cube. 62.1. So, this is 62.1 pound per feet cube. Ayan. And then, ano ba yung nahanap natin? Mass flow rate. Dapat yan, pound per minute, pound per second. <clears throat> o, di ka calculate natin. So, ilang gallons to feet cube. So, you have 1 cubic foot per 7.481 gallon. Cancel the same units. <coughs> feet cube, feet cube, pound per minute ang lalabas. Hindi pound per minute ang gawin ko. So, 300 times 62.1 divide by 7.481 <coughs> Excuse me. That is 2490.31 uh, pound in every minute. Oh, kuha na natin si M1. Si M2. Oh, equal yan sa density 2, area 2, velocity 2. So, meron tayong density 2. Same lang naman yan. 62.1 pound per feet cube. Hindi naman nagbago yung tubig. Multiplied to area 2. That is 9 pi inch squared. Tapos, velocity which is velocity dyan ang binigay. 5 foot per second.
So, dapat naka per minute to. <clears throat> so, convert natin. Yung pound dapat matira. Yung seconds, hindi dapat matira. So, you have 60 seconds in every one minute. Times. Yung feet dito. Yung inch squared na lang i-convert ko. You have 144 inch squared in every one foot squared. Oh, cancel all the same units. Feet cube. Inch squared. Inch squared. Feet and feet. Seconds and seconds. Ano natira yung pound and minute. So, calculate. 62.1 times 9 uh, pi times 5 times 60 divided by 144. The answer is 3657.99. Pound per minute. Ayan dalawa. Okay. Next step. Alam na natin yung mass flow rates nila. Okay. So, makukuha na natin yung mass change nila. Okay. What is the mass change? Oh, ngayon, what is the mass change there? Oh, the mass change is equal to M2 minus M1. Yung mass change niya is 3657.99 minus uh, 2490.31. 2490.31. 3.31 pound in every minute. Yan. So, ano maging sagot? 3657.99 minus 2490.31 1167.68 pound in every minute. May tinatanong dito, what is the change of water level after 15 minutes? Oh. So the change in uh, mass after 15 minutes is equal to, itong mass na to, mass change times yung time. So, 1167.68 pound in every minute multiplied to 15 minutes. Cancel yung same unit, ang lalabas is pounds. 1167.68 times 1.5 The answer is 17515. 17,515.2 pounds. Yan yung naging mass change after 15 minutes. How about? How about? How about? Yung, ano ba tinatanong dito? The change in height. Pero bago yan, dapat alam muna natin yung volume flow rate at 2. So, area 2, tapos velocity 2. Oh, area 2, ano yung area 2? 9 pi inch squared. Oh, tapos yung velocity 2, that is 5 foot per second. Yung conversion factor ng inch squared, that is 144 inch squared in every 1 feet squared. Ayan. 9pi times 5. 9pi times 5 divided by 144. Nakaminit pa, di ba? 
a minute to. Dapat to, meron ka pang multiply na 60. Sir, saan ang bula yan? Tignan mo, naka-fit per second to eh. O, di gawin nating minute. So, 60 seconds in every minute. Yan. Cancel all the same units. In squared, in squared, second, second. So, feet, cube, per minute. Ang lalabas. Okay? The answer is uh, 58.90. Equal to 58.90. cubic foot per minute. Yan na yun. What is now the height change? Ano yung height change mo dyan? You recall, okay? You recall. You recall mo to. That uh, density is equal to uh, mass total divided by, or the mass divided by the volume total. Meron kang volume total Meron ang mass total. Saan mo kuha yung mass total? Ito yung after 15 minutes. Andito natin nakuha yun. Oh. Yung mass change. Ayan o. Oh. Ito yun, sa mass change. Tapos, itong volume total, yung sa, ano, yung volume ng cylinder. Which is half full. ba diba? Nakuha natin yan. Mm. Yan, yung de, yan yung magiging ano niya, magiging equation. Okay? So, anong naging change in, in your uh, velos, ah, velos, ito tuloy. Ano yung naging change in your volume? So, yung volume mo is equal to yung mass after 15 minutes. Okay? Mass after 15 minutes. Change in mass after 15 minutes divided by the density ng H2O na nandyan. Oh, ano yung mass mo dyan? 17515.2 pounds divided by, ito yung sa water, 62.1 pound per feet cube. <coughs> so, yung change in your volume. That is, matitira dyan, feet cube ah. 17515.2 Divided by 62.1. The answer is 282. And yung change in volume. That is uh, 282.05 feet cube. Okay. How about the change in height? Very basic yan. The change in height is equal to volume okay, volume Divided by area. Okay? Yung area, hindi naman nagbabago yan. Yung volume lang. So, 282.05 feet cube divided by yung area nung cylinder. Ano ba area ng cylinder na binigay dyan? Kinumpit ko yun. Area in depth. So, 3,600 pi. Ah, 3,600 pi ito eh. Alam ko eh. Kulang lang yan. 3,600 pi. Or pwede rin. Pwede rin. Calculate ko na lang. Area. Pi over 4 times 10 feet squared. Ayan. Calculate mo na lang. Pwede na yun. 282.05 Tapos sa uh, shift pi divide by 4 times 100. Ang lalabas, the change in height after 15 minutes is 3.59 feet. Ayan yung change in height. Ganun lang po katali yun. Okay? Very basic yung solving. Okay? Let us take a 5-minute break again.